Good morning, folks. It's December 28, 2022. I'm going to do a little catfishing today. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning. I uh, just got set up on my first spot. This is actually the spot where I ended my last catfishing video. Saw a few fish as I came in here. Not like I did the other day uh, in my last video. I uh, did, did graph some fish out there coming in, so uh, we'll see. I've got six rods set up. Uh, the weather has been crazy. We've had sub-zero temperatures and ice out conditions. Where I am today, I couldn't even get to yesterday afternoon. It was solid ice, but the wind's been howling. Uh, temperature's up now. It's 60 degrees, supposed to get up to the high 60s today, but the wind's going to blow. It's supposed to blow 25 miles an hour. So uh, we got them set up. I'm going to give it a few minutes. If we don't catch anything, we're going to pull them in, go somewhere else. Stay with me. There's a bite. Oh, yeah. He's there. Got him. I was beginning to think this old spot wasn't going to pay off. Thinking about moving. Not very big. Nice little blue cat. Oh yeah. That came on just a straight Carolina rig. Three ounce weight. I've got three just straight Carolina rigs and three with the three way with the weight down below. Nice little blue cat. I'm gonna let you keep that bait. You got it in your mouth. Act like you don't wanna let go of it. You earned it. Got some new rods in this week, folks. I had two of these B&M Silver Cat Light uh, rods. They got a little softer tip than the uh, Silver Cat Magnums. I really like the feel of uh, these rods on those uh, smaller blue cats in my last video. So I got four more of them. I'm fishing six of them today. I really like the feel of them. They got a strong backbone, but uh, that softer tip for these smaller fish, I think, makes a big difference. Silver Cat Lights. Good rods. I'm fishing them on my Abu Garcia 7000 reels. I've got 40-pound uh, trilene big game on the reel, and I've got... Uh, 50 pound trilene big game clear for my leaders throwing three ounces of weight on three of them I'd like I say I've just got a Carolina rig style with no roll sinkers and the other three I've got three ways with a three ounce uh, weight on the bottom end getting shad was easy this morning folks one throw of the net I couldn't hardly get it in the boat I took these in the cooler and dumped about three-fourths of the net back in the lake. I'm gonna give it about 10 more minutes, put it on the clock. It's 9.30 exactly. We'll give it to 9.40, and I'm gonna move if I haven't caught something else. Been here about 30 minutes. There's a bite on that metal rod right there. Come on, baby on that metal rod right there. You better hurry, you're about out of time. I'm getting ready to leave you. I'm gonna drop you like a bad habit. All right, let's pull up, go somewhere else. Find some more fish. Get us some more bait.
You know, last time I was out, they would not hit a bait with a float on it. But today is a different day, so I'm going to put a float on one of these. Let's just put that float on that Carolina rig right there and let's put a let's just put a little side piece here. There we go. Put a larger bait there and put a little headpiece on that. Just for grins. Okay, red's got the head. Blue's got the float. I put uh, tape on the bottom of each of my rod handles so I can kind of keep track, if I pay enough attention, what baits on what rod, how I got them rigged. Red on the head. Got the headpiece on the red. Got a float on the blue. The old warthog out doing maneuvers. That's cool. Okay, it's 10:16. We'll give it a little bit. Oh, there's a fish. Yeah, I got him. Got him. Well, I was messing with the other one. I got him. I graphed quite a few fish coming into this little spot right here. It's kind of a channel swing up against this little island. Smaller fish. On the three-way. Boy, they're fat. Lots of shad out here. Look there, that fish. Does he even? Yeah, I started to say he doesn't even have the hook in his mouth. He's got the bait and won't let go. I'm going to let you keep the bait. I don't think I got much choice. All right, on the three way side piece, or little chunk, I should say. Okay, now I was tending to this one. Good gosh. All right, okay. Yep. Oh, that one feels like a little better fish. Yeah, I think that one's a little better. Tighten this one up. Just threw it out. No monster, but he's bigger than those others. Do believe. Yes, sir. Yep. He's all curled up. Oh, 
Maybe should have netted him, but I didn't. Did I, ha, ha, you thought you were going to get your mouth closed before I got the gripper on you, but you didn't. Okay, say it before. Those George Young Jr. hooks. B&M. You can get these at B&M. Nine aught. George Young Jr. When they get them, they got. Give me my bait. I'm on. No, I'll let you keep it. Let's see how long he is. He is 23 and a half. 23 and a half, boy, muddy. I mean, muddy. All right, thank you. See ya. All right, that's just on the straight Carolina rig on the bottom. Let's do it again. Oh, there's fish right there. That's on the old float. That's a good takedown. Oh man, I can't even get the rod out of the rod holder. Yeah. Oh, come on, come on, come at me. That's on the float. Might have to get some more floats out. What works one day don't work the next. What don't work one day does work the next. Got a fish right there too. This is a better fish here. Yep. Oh, I don't think he's on there. Yeah, this is a better fish. If I don't lose him. Oh yeah, much better fish here. Yeah, it's dandy. Dandy, dandy. All right, yeah. Let's just put that old rod right back in there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's a nice fish. Real nice fish. He says. Oh, come on, hold up. That other fish gone, I guess. Oh yeah. Get him out of the net. Man, how fat. I mean fat. Oh, it's a good thing I had that nine-aught hook. That just barely made it on the inside of that big jaw. Smaller hook may not have got him. Let's get rid of the net. Get rid of the net. Get rid of the hook. Lost one of my pegs out of my float. I'll be redoing that. All right. Let's get him up here. Oh, yeah. There you go, folks. How about that one? Huh? That's a good fish there. Yes, sir. Let's see what it weighs. Uh, let's see. Oh, that fish weighs 26, 8. 
26 8 Let's see how long it is oh nice fish that fish is 30 right at 39 inches 39 inches good one all right let's turn him loose thank you old buddy off he goes into the deep all right that's what I'm talking about on the little Carolina rig with a float I'm gonna put another float on the next time I pull one of my rigs in might have to pull them in and do it anyway all right the old B and M silver cat light rods good for a 20 something pounder too what did I say 26 pounds yeah Okay, folks, it's been 15 minutes since I caught that last fish. I'm going to give it 15 more minutes. I'm going to put it on the clock. Actually, I'm going to give it 12 minutes. It's 11.03. I'm going to leave at 11.15 unless we catch another fish. 12 minutes. Get with it. You all want to make the video, you've got 12 minutes. Oop, there's... There's one that wants to be in the video. Go ahead, go ahead. You're gonna have to try harder than that. Oh, got one here too. Yep. God damn, he's little. I think, yeah. He's little. Well, he's coming right at me. He says, I'm one in the video. three-way nice little fish Gosh. okay George George Young Jr. can't get my hook out there it is There you go. How long is he? Just for the fun of it. He's 23 and a half. 23 and a half. Man, what to do, what to do? Do I stay here or do I leave? Isn't that a song? Do I stay or do I go? I think I'm going to make a move. I've had a few bites here. It's been pretty good. Got one good one. Let's see what else we can find. Show you my little door I made for my hole there between the consoles. Got a little magnet here on the back side to hold it against the thing. Got a couple magnets up front there, but when I'm running, the wind's too much, it opens it up. So I put this little latch in there. Works out pretty good. Blocks the wind. Okay, folks, we made a move on a channel swing here. 
trying to hide from the wind a little bit staying on this side of the lake the winds coming from that direction bluff wall see if we can catch any fish there's a bite right there that didn't take long come on that's on the old three-way I put all oh there's a bite here too I saw some fish coming in here they're gonna have to commit all right let me sit down that'll make them bite okay get with it there he is I knew it all right I'm back up now you can quit okay I'm gonna sit down get ready Go ahead. There he is. I knew it. I told you. You can't make this up, folks. And he's just tapping at it. They're just playing with me. Okay, I'm going to sit down, and he's going to just have to bury it before I get back up. They're having a good time with me. There he goes again. I'm not getting up. You just have to eat on it till he chokes you. I'm done playing that game. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, he just let go of it, I think. <laughs> that dang, he got me again. I thought that one was really going to take it. Over here on the far left, another little tap, tap, tap. Go ahead, go ahead. I think he's there. Yeah, a little one. Just what I thought. That's what's been biting on me. Come on, big mama, come through here. See, he's still, this one's still doing it. No. Oh, I got the line. That's why that one's doing that. I got him crossed. Oh, a little channel cat. That's what's been biting on me. A little old nasty channel cat. We don't want no stinking channel cat. Whoa, my gosh, look at the mud on that fish. So they are laying on the bottom for sure. Well, that's not a channel cat either. That's a little blue cat. He's so muddy, he looked like a channel. Get back in there, wash off. All right, let me sit down so they'll bite. There's one right there. You're gonna have to take it down. I'm not getting up. Okay, I'm gonna get up. Ah, oh, dang it. I just can't help it. They get me every time. Every time. I say I'm gonna lay there and, or sit there and not get up. Can't help it. Still messing with it. You thought I'd sit down, didn't you? I did. Eight minutes. I'm gonna give it eight minutes. It'll be straight up noon. Nothing but little ones here. Oh, got there. There he goes. I'm gonna get him. Oh, you dog! Come on. Got one there too. Got one here too. All right, just all of you go down at once. None of you take it, but all of you go down. What in the world? Come on. I think that fish is there. Yep. Uh, that was on that little float. I'm gonna be changing some of these three ways out and put a straight Carolina rig with a float on it. Mm. 
you know, when you tell them you're going to leave at noon, they'll bite at 11.59. Feels like it's raining. Whew. These fish are on the bottom. Mud. Skunky old fish. A little blue. That's on a headpiece on that float. What do you know? Man, oh man. Look at that. I mean, that's how muddy they are. All right, oh, I right, quit now. I'm gonna let you go. Oh, do I put it back out or do I leave it in because I'm getting ready to leave? I'm not gonna put it back out. Eat a headpiece. Okay, fish, you got four minutes. It's 11.56. What happened to all you others that were dancing around there? Well, folks, it's noon, 12 o'clock. I said I was going to leave, but I was just on the phone with a friend of mine. I'm going to meet him in 30 minutes just up the river here. And he's going to get in the boat with me. And I'm getting a few of these little pecker heads. So I'm going to change this three-way out to a Carolina rig, or actually a Sandy Cooper rig with a float. And uh, I'm just going to sit here. might eat my chicken salad sandwich. Wait on Corey to get here. And uh, we'll just play it out for a while. We're getting all these little little bites. Oh, there he goes. I knew it, see? I'm just getting ready to sit down. Come on, man, quit doing me that way. They're wearing me out. Got some rigs pre-tied here in my little box. Just about 24 inches long. Just swivel on one end, my nine aught hook on the other, my 50 pound clear mono. Get me a little float. Just put me a little three ounce no roll. These are just little, little floats, inch and a half. I usually use a two inch float when I'm dragging. I like these little ones. I'm using small baits, so it don't take much float with these small baits. There you go. I like to put a bead between my sinker and my swivel. I use these beads. Now these got a bigger, these beads have a bigger hole in them. If you use a bead with a little bitty hole, that bead just bangs down on your knot. This way, this hole's big enough that it will rest on the side of your swivel and it doesn't beat on your line. I'll show you what I mean. Twist that about five times, run that back through that double loop. Wet it down. I don't know what you call that knot. I call it a trilene knot. But 
Not sure that's the exact name for it. All right, so see what I mean by that bead? The knot actually goes through the center of the bead and the bead rests on that uh, top part of that swivel. So the bead's not banging on the knot either. Some people just put a bead on there to protect the knot and the beads beating on the knot. I never understood that. All right. Okay, I'll open me a Gatorade. Get my sandwich out. That'll make them bite. My old chicken salad sandwich. Yes, sir. There he is. I knew it. I had my sandwich out. I have to eat fast. You're going to have to take that tip down to the water and make me get up. Now that I got a sandwich, I'll get in a bite here. Yep, he's there. Yep. Oh, I feel like a little better fish. It's a sandwich fish. Where are you going? You're supposed to come to this side where you were. I think you got to get in all these other lines, I guess. I feel like a little better fish. Yep. Yep. Yeah. See if I can get him in without the net. Oh, yeah, all right. Look how fat he is. I am going to put my gripper on him. He just burped. All right, I was going to burp you, but... Uh, he just burped himself. His fish are coming out of about... 30 feet of water. Let's see how long he is. I mean, they are laying on the bottom. 26 and a half. 26 and a half pounds. Got a fish there. All right, get rid of him. Come on. You know you're gonna bite. I got another half a sandwich to eat. 1217. I'm supposed to meet Corey at 1230. I'm gonna put this rod back out. Gotta get all my rods in and finish my sandwich before I pull up and go get him. I'll say one thing, we got a lot of bites right here. Small fish, but they're exercising me. As I stuff my mouth full of chicken salad. Oh there you go. Yep. It's down to my last bite. Little bitty one. It's on that float too though. They're wanting to bait up off the bottom a little bit. Boy, he's fat. He's full of air. He's full of air. All right, little one. There he goes. Man, do I have a log or is that a fish? I think it's a log or something. No, I don't know. It's fish. You're just sitting there with it. Or I got him just as he bit on it. There was a fish on there and didn't even know it. I'm gonna pull the rods in, take off. Yeah, it's fish. Wow. On the little Santee Cooper rig again. Yep. 
Another one kind of like the rest of them. Yeah, I don't know. If he had it and was just sitting down there, not moving. Or if he got it just as I was getting ready to reel down on it. Either way, nice little fish. All right, folks, I'm going to go get Corey, my buddy. And we'll be back. Stay with me. All right, folks, got my buddy Corey Batterson with me. Picked him up on the bank. He's hitchhiking. He says he knows something about catfishing. We'll see. We pulled up here on a channel swing along this bank, the deepest water we can find, marking some fish down in it. That's the only place we can find fish. It's 120. We're going to give it 30 minutes or so, see if we can catch one. He's on Mercury's Pro Staff deal, so he can either get... Oh, there you go. Yep. Come on. Yeah, he's little. But he's there. Get ready, usually for his wonders too. I don't know why. Yeah. Be a good eater, but that's about it. He hasn't missed a meal. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, they're fat. I mean, they he are fat. They've been, uh, this fish is clean. Those fish I were catching. I, at first, I thought I had a channel cat. It was so dirty and muddy. In the mud. Oh, they've just been buried. All right, there you go, folks. Another little eater. It came on the old Santee Cooper rig with the float. They're liking that bait up off the bottom a little bit. This one's trying to do it, isn't he? That middle one again? Yeah. Oh. Yep. Get it. You got one going too. No. Oh, you got one on your side? I started to say, get this one right here. That one got hit. I'm tired of them. I'm tired of them making me get up and down. You can do it for a while. <laughs> Now, if one of those tips hits the water, I'll get up and deal with it. <laughs> it goes. Yeah. Give it to a 150. Nine minutes. We're going to give them nine minutes and we're out of here. They ought to be biting better than this. I saw them out there. out there. Let's pull them in. All right, folks, we gave it a little try. One little one and a whole bunch of taps. We're going to go somewhere else. Oh. Outside. Get him. Any size to him? Pulling a little bit. He's got a little touch on it. Oh yeah, it's not a bad fish at all. Oop, hit you in the head with the net. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Come on up here, buddy. Yeah. There you go. Pliers. You got them. I tell you, these hooks, man, when they get them, they get, oh, them. they get them. There you go. Yeah. Hold that up here in front of the camera. 
Yeah, well, that's a nice fish there. Yeah. Let's see what he weighs. Hang on real quick. I'm not doing my scale. Oh, I'm telling you, they're just full of mud. Out here, put it on the ring right there. All right. There you go, 10. Right at 10 even, 10 2. Yeah. Nice fish. You got the skunk out. I thought you were bad luck. Corey can't catch him. Got to put the boat in neutral. That's right. Yeah, you don't have to tell the people that. We were trying to leave our last spot, and I couldn't get the ignition to start. I kept turning the key to do nothing. I thought, well, we're broke down. And then Corey looked over there and said, well, put it in neutral. It'll start better. Of course it did. Smart ass in every boat. You need a, you got a bait. Yeah, it's a nice little fish. He'd have been in the slot. I should have measured him. It's 26 to 34 inches. And um, these fish I've been catching just under the slot are right around seven pounds. And just over the slot was about 16 pounds. So fish between about seven pounds and 16 pounds usually hit, hit in the slot. At least these blue cats up here. There we go, come on, take it. You know you only got about three minutes left. Boy, he's... Get him? Yep, got him, there little one. They knew we was running out of time. He wanted on the video. He knew. He's starting to feel a little better. Yeah. Do a little flopping around. Yeah. I mean, looks, looks, yeah. No, it's a, it's a blue, but they're so muddy, they look like a channel. Oh, it may be a little. What is that? That is a channel. Huh? I think, it, I don't know, I think it's a channel cat, isn't it? That's a channel. Yeah. I'll be mean, dang. I thought it was another muddy blue cat, but he's just a channel. Brown color to him. Yeah. Where's that? Old channel cat. Here, get that fish right there. Let me have him. Got another another one wanting to make the that video outside. before we run out of time. Well, he swallowed he's that. Swallowed. Unbelievable. Old stinking channel cat. He's going to keep that hook or he's going to die. We're going to let him have the hook. Old nasty channel cat. Get that line out of there. That's it. Little old nasty channel cat. Got one? I was going to say, that's it, we're going to go home, but I guess we're going to catch one more. Any size to him? Put this one up, because we're late. As soon as you can quit messing around with that fish. Oh, that's a nice little blue. Yeah. Just grab the line. Here. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, he's fatty. There you go. Yep, another little muddy blue cat. They're taking the dirt back. Yep, look at that. Well, that's a good one there. Nice little eater. 
All right, folks, that's it. We're going to the house. It's uh, right at three o'clock, 301. We've caught a few fish today. I caught some before I grabbed this guy. Caught a few. I think the bite was a little better this morning than this afternoon, but it's been fun. Beat sitting at home wishing we were fishing. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you'll hit the subscribe and the like and the bell and all that other stuff, and uh, we'll do it again. Had fun. Thanks for being with us.